Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. To some of you and peace out to the rest of you. Black Heart is signing black in again, asking you to hit that share button. Thank you if you've hit share or like or subscribe, either one, because the message is more important than the messenger and sharing benefits us. Um, so that's why I single that button out. But if you hit either one, I really do appreciate that. I passed up the 800 subscribers mark. That was a milestone in my mind. I don't know why 800 and not 700, but it was. Um, so I really do appreciate it. And I mean that from the bottom of my black heart. That being said, uh, you saw the title. If marriage is a business, then we're going to treat it like a business. This is not a message I'm recording uh, to women, per se, because the women that uh, may need to hear this message the most are also the ones that are going to listen the least. However, um, I am going to say that uh, um, I'm going to go ahead and, and say and point out that um, the men need to know what to say when women come to them with this message. This is a business. What do you say when you hear that? This is a business. Okay. Then See, you may hear them say this and you may have understood certain things, but it takes you time to articulate. And because women love to get excited and talk fast, you don't have the time a lot of times to articulate the logic that you can comprehend. So I'm going to go ahead and do the articulation for you. I'm going to take it from the subconscious mind to the conscious mind with words. That's what I'd specialize in. I don't have to say this to the women because the women who already know this aren't the problem anyway. It's the women that don't know that you may want to tell because they may be related to you and you don't hate these women. You just want them to understand what's really going down and you want to be able to tell them this is what you're walking into. So I'll help you with that. You hear it now. You'll know what to say the next time you hear a woman say that. See, look, I was uh, at work. My colleague next door was, uh, I think he was on Facebook because the post was longer than what you can put on Twitter. And she said, uh, the poster said, um, uh, don't ask these women to marry you with a, a one carat ring. If you can't afford a three carat ring, then you can't afford a wife. Marriage is a business and you wouldn't start a business without financial backing, would you? I read further down to see what else she was going to say because I only wanted to know one thing. She addressed what women must take fine where was she going to address what women must give in exchange for what they must take she's telling the men you can't just you can't just get the punani and get some kind of commitment without going broke pretty much no matter how bad the economy is she never at any point said what it is that the women must give she's assuming it's the draws maybe so when you come across women talking like this you say to them listen if it is a business, then state clearly what you are bringing in exchange for me to take uh, in exchange for what you want to take. What are you giving in exchange for what you want to take from me? I will tell you if it's worth it or not. Go ahead. I'm listening. If it is not a business and it is a loving arrangement, then this means that we agree that the one of us does not skedaddle at the first sign of the other one about to go through a hard time through no fault of his or her own if it's a loving arrangement but if it is a business and you're trying to talk about the high uh, you're trying to talk about your quality and your price then damn it you're going to talk about that and it's a business uh, why do you cost so much because now I'm buying you I'm buying a person so what makes you worth it for me to spend so much on you if there are other people that are going to sell themselves at a much higher quality for less money because, I mean, if it's a business, you're in competition with the others. Especially if I have money, you're in competition with others. And I can still save. As a matter of fact, by simply having money, I can then save because I have more options to buy another woman that's going to cost less. Since I'm in the business of buying women and you're in the business of selling. You selling yourself, you selling. That means that when we're done, you don't talk about your rights because you sold them. They're now my rights. Do you understand? If it is a loving arrangement, we can treat it like one. But if it is a business, we're going to treat it like one. 
even if I'm not in the business of oppressing you, you ain't gonna talk to me about your rights. So you know what? Uh, I bought you. That means when I come home and my nuts are, you know, I, I need some. I don't wanna hear about your needs and you didn't come yet. You bend the F over, hand me the bottle of lube, and I, if I don't feel like pulling out, I'm not going to, and when I'm done, I'm done. I'm gonna go to sleep so I can go to work the next next day and bring home this bacon I got to keep paying to keep your ass. But now if it's a loving arrangement, then I'm going to look after your actual needs. That's really all I wanted to say to us brothers so that we can tell these ladies because sometimes you don't really hear women in the romantic market talking like that. You're more likely to hear the women that are your friends or your family members talking this way. And you can properly advise them if they really want to go that route, this is the way they can do it, but they got to be prepared for this. If they would prefer the loving arrangement afterwards, then they can just say so. You know what? Thanks for the advice. I think a loving arrangement would be better and they can have the loving arrangement. So that when she falls on hard times, because God's going to test him and her every single time with something easy and something difficult, then she can rest assured that this man is not uh, making plans to skedaddle right off the bat. Because see, what I've come to understand is what many of us have come to understand, but I'm just articulating it consciously better than many of us have, ha have had the time to sit down and think about how to do. What they're saying to us in nowadays is they want the option to skedaddle because you ran out of money or you lost your job. You have less money than previously through no fault of your own or through your, fa your own fault. <laughs> they want the option to skedaddle, but when they get sick, they get cancer. They just get fat because they don't care. <laughs> when they, you just find out that they trifling. They don't want you to have the right to skedaddle for any of these reasons. They don't even want you to feel like you got the right to skedaddle when she gets caught cheating. And you find out the kids ain't yours. If you a real man, you'll forgive or take her back and raise them babies. This is what it is that you are being told. Maybe not by individual women in your family, maybe even then, but definitely by the media and by the society at large. And remember, whether it is a loving arrangement or if marriage is just a business, there is no law requiring you to be in the business of simping. Oppressing yourself is just as wrong as oppressing the woman. I hope that what I've said is a benefit. Thank you for listening and being patient. Black Heart signing Black Out. Asalaamu Alaikum.